So here's a complete list of all the scales that we've talked about so far, major and minor, sorted by sharps and flats, and paired up with their major and minor counterparts. If they have the same notes, that means like C uh, major and A minor all have natural notes, uh, all seven notes naturalized, then they're called relative, relative scales. Relative simply means two scales, two scales, with the same notes, same notes. Let's look at another example here. If you look at G major, G major has G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, and G. If you look at E natural minor, it has the same notes. Here's G and G, A, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, and G. The notes are exactly the same. Just this one is starting on G and this one's starting on E. Okay, that's true for all of these. They all have the same notes in their, in their pair. So they're all relative. Therefore, you can say something like C major, C major is the relative major of A minor, for example. C major is the relative major of A minor. C major is the relative major of A minor because they have the same notes. They're relatives, okay? Also, you could go A minor is the relative minor of C major, okay? So they are relatives. Go ahead and raise this. Now, if you wanted to figure out what your relative minor was based off of a major scale, instead of doing the hard work and looking at this giant list, it's a lot easier. There's a shortcut. All you have to do is look at number six in the, in the scale. If you look at this, we got one, two, three, four, five, and six. Number six is E, and our relative minor is E. Same thing in C major, one, two, three, four, three, four, five, six. Our sixth one is A, and our relative minor is A. Let's choose a random one. Let's go all the way over here to G flat major, one, two, three, four, five, six. E flat major is E, I'm sorry, G flat major is uh, E flat minor. They're the relative keys to one another, relative scales to one another, okay? Um, one more just for kicks. Uh, we have B flat major will be G minor because one, two, three, four, five, six. G is G, uh, B flat major is G minor, okay? So super simple to see all this. Um, if you wanted to go the opposite way, it is possible. All you have to do is figure out the pattern and then it always works. <clears throat> so just like we were using the sixth one, let's go ahead and start, uh, use D major for our example. So B minor, we know B minor, and we're looking for its relative major in this example. So all we have to do is find D because we know that in this correlation it works. Uh, so we go one, two, oh, three is D, three is D. So we just have to count to three in the minor to find its relative major. So let's see if that works over here. Let's go uh, here, D sharp minor. One, two, three is F sharp. Sure enough, our uh, relative major for D sharp minor is F sharp major. Okay, so if you find a pattern in one scale, it kind of works in every other scale. It's kind of nice. Uh, one more th try just for fun. Uh, we count from F, one, two, three to get to A flat. And sure enough, our relative major is A flat major. Okay, so that's how you can do that. Now, if you're on a piano, I wonder if I have enough room down here. Sure, if, I have enough, if you have a piano uh, and you don't know the scales for, for certain, you can just choose a letter. For example, uh, let's go with E major here. E major, and go ahead and write out a piano here. Um, actually, this is enough, but let's go ahead and keep going. Let's do that for a full thing. All you have to do is go down three half steps, three half steps. The major is up three half steps. Uh, let's go and hit a label like this. The major is up three half steps. If you go down, if you go down, if you go up, it's major. If you go down three half steps, you'll find the natural minor that's relative to it. Um, so we have E here. We go down three half steps, one, two, and three. We land on here. And it's either C sharp or D flat. And how do you know? How do you know? Well, you always have to skip a letter. You cannot. Uh, use a letter next to it. You always have to skip a letter. If you look at all these examples, we have A, B is in between, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, that kind of thing, okay? And same thing over here, E, F, G, B, C, D, F, G, A, that kind of thing. So you always have to skip a letter. So the answer would be C sharp minor. 
Okay, and sure enough, we have E major and C sharp minor. Let's go the opposite way. Let's go ahead and use A flat here, A flat. We got A flat here. We're going to go up three half steps to find its relative major. Up three half steps, so we go one, two, three. We get here, we get to B, but A and B are right next to each other. A, B are the same, uh, are right next to each other, so we can't use B, we have to use the letter C, and this note is C flat, okay? So we're gonna call it C flat, and therefore our relative major for A flat minor is C flat. Now let's go ahead and look at one more thing. If you remember from our major scales, eventually we simplified them all and we used key signatures, a key signature. So let's go ahead and use D major here for example. For D major, we had two sharps like this because we have to uh, put in fat cats, right? The two sharps. Okay, so if you want to write a D major scale, remember you could just write uh, your key signature and then not even have to worry about your sharps and flats in your scale here. You just go ahead and write your scale out, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, and D, and you would, you would just have your, your scale completed like this. Your scale is automatically fine. Uh, you don't have to put in the sharps and flats on the notes. Uh, they're implied. That means to say, all uh, for F sharp, for example, this is already implied. This is already implied. So it makes it a lot easier to write your um, your scales, and and further, it makes it easier to write your music. Imagine if you had uh, this kind of music right here, where you had to do this, and maybe you're in two four or something like that, uh, where you. Uh, would have a bar line every so often, so you'd have to keep writing sharps, keep writing sharps, keep writing sharps. That becomes a hassle, so this does all the dirty work for you, and you don't need to put those sharps in at all. This music is fine. Okay, so let's go ahead and do the same thing for B minor. If you remember, uh, its relative minor is B minor right here. Uh, so we just do the same thing. Simply write your treble clef, write your key signature, and start your scale on B. Um, I like this B down here, so we don't get too high. B, C. D, E, F, G, A, and finally B again, okay? And that's how you can write a B minor scale with a B natural minor scale. This is B natural minor scale, nat min, nat min, natural minor scale in uh, treble clef with a key signature instead of actually writing all the notes out or in with the sharps on the notes. Okay, so that works for any of these, and in the next video we'll see one more correlation between all of these that kind of simplifies uh, the visual of uh, the major and minor scales.